Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at the soon-to-be-open Brussel Community Garden to get to the roots of what the garden stands for and means to the locals of Ipswich. This is Mark. He's been at the forefront of many of the jobs here at the garden, and we were able to catch up with him for a quick chat. Is it a charity organisation? It is a charity organisation, so it's ICANN, which is Ipswich Community Alliance Network. Okay. Okay, we're a group of people. So we were looking at different ideas and things that we could do um, that we could bring to the community that could bring also the community together. And one of those ideas was the ICANN or the Ipswich Community Gardens. What made you think of a garden, for example, of a community garden? Uh, now, we were aware of a block of land or two blocks of land down in Keogh Street in West Ipswich. Uh, uh, through some negotiations and, and work, uh, we spoke with the uh, Queensland Department of um, uh, Rail and uh, we were able to obtain from them a, a peppercorn lease. Now this lease enables us to establish the gardens. We would be looking to uh, engage schools, education programs uh, with the schools maybe, uh, kindergartens and, and the like. So. Uh, that could involve uh, the school coming down. We, we hope to have an area there, a hub, where it will be a, an education learning environment as well. So, um, we've had a, a number of um, businesses that uh, want to get on board with this and, and look at sponsoring some of these things. Uh, and that can be through uh, either uh, financial donations or through materials or the like. And so uh, we've been very fortunate. We've spoken to a number of businesses in Ipswich and outside of Ipswich that are keen uh, for the, to see this move forward. And I think one of the, the big things at the moment is that the, the Ipswich City Council are right on board with it as well. As far as bad timing is concerned, this garden struck gold. It's hard to believe that the seeds being sown on these grounds are built in a council plagued with deception, accusations, and some high level court cases. Um, I don't like to dwell on the past. No, I just like to look to the forward and look for the positives. You know, we've got now an administration in place um, that's keen to, to see community involvement and, and to grow Ipswich, you know, with, with a lot of positive ideas. And... Yeah. But despite everything, has persevered through it all to bring together so many people in a really meaningful way. Uh, hi, my name's Deborah Farrell. Um, I'm taking on the role of designer and site manager for the ICANN Ipswich Community Garden. And we're on site at the moment, uh, just having a look at how things look uh, to start with and then uh, trying to fill in some of the vision of um, what we want it to look like towards the end. An education garden and a community hub mm -hmm. um, rather than somewhere to just come and have your allotment. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like to see is um, this top section I'm imagining is mainly going to be what's called a potager which is a French term, that's more of your traditional raised garden beds with paths between them, uh, but with the addition of fruit and herbs and flowers to uh, make it a really beautiful space. It's not quite as utilitarian as a straight out veggie plot. You know, markets and meetings and, and fairs and things like that yeah. to bring the community in. Um, but also with ICANN's work, I'd really love to see there be some of the actual labour done through uh, a work market program mm. um, so that we're providing jobs for, um, for long-term unemployed people. Uh, uh, so it's got a lot of benefits. Yeah, perfect. Angela has lived in Ipswich her whole life and has been an avid garden lover for just as long. She spoke to us about her community gardening groups and her own love of the garden. Since I was little, when I was two, um, living in this house with the wonderful garden, I used to go around and I'd talk to the flowers, I'd talk to the poppies and the bees and um, the miniature red chilies, bright red, and I've been told, don't eat them, they're too hot. But you know, you always have to have a try. How important do you think it is to be coming back to this idea of a strong community? I think that's very important and we, can, we talk the same language. Um...